This is what we're doing. This is what we're eating. This is grilled, bruh. We are South Africa's number one godly king, bruh. Nikki boy wonder. The lion is hungry and I'm pregnant with emotion. We got a double smash burger happening here. Lamb la vaca, crispy, salt and pips on top. It's gotta have that air bubbles in the focaccia, mm. that's the vibe. Godly king must go in and go in a hard here. People's persons, go binge and welcome to Krill. You wanna join me? See how I eat, see what we do, see what we does. Let's go. How's it, people's persons? We are at Cape Town International. Hey, sorry. <laughs> And I throw butter game on mayo. Okay, so this looks like it's something like a banana man. Butter thickly woven. <laughs> no melting up here. But that's how we operate on the streets. Look at the cheese on the bananas. Um, it's just strange the first time I tried it, but the tanginess of the cheese and the sweetness of the muffin, always a good one. What's a cup on the cake? I'm a gay. Can you imagine? Nikki Purwanda, the godly Kimba, about nine years ago now. I used to run down the road, barefoot me bro, with a small TV in a black bag, bro. Chasing off the merchant, bro. Because... So, will you please get off the trolley? This oh. is a professional Kimba. Yes! <laughs> bags at number four. We're standing at number one for the last half an hour already. <laughs> <laughs> People's person, girl goes national. Don't look away. Running up the number, that's a lot of crime. Track, take it from me, must be at your mind. I'm getting time. Got a son. Smokey. Thank you to the yellow boy. Thank you so much. Thank you. That hurts for you, bro. Where, where's the Lambo? It's a whip, yeah. <laughs> Wop game on it. Whip game on it. Carola, how did you Right, we're in. It's nice, James. I'm hungry. Uh, let's hope that we can get something to nibble here in Turbs. Maybe a beans bunny for the morning times. Why not? Stay tuned, follow us. Here we go. One, two, one, two. We're good to go. We're on. We're on. People's persons. That's South Africa's number one godly Kimba. Nikki Boy Wonder. I'm approaching Cargold. We're on the Golden Mile in Durban. Ushaka Marine World. And that's the first time I've been here ever in my whole life. Let's have a ball here. We're gonna have some food as well. Brian Crow is gonna be assisting us. Here we go, guys. Ushaka Marine World on. The ambiance here in this place is just local, just South Africa. The epitome of South African vibes. Yeah, I was to be a kid again. Adult thing is a bit swah. But we got on. Now nah, guys, it's about cargo hold today. I'm excited to see what the mini looks like. Well, how are you doing? Very well, thank you, right. Let's take you through. Let's yes, go through. I wrap all the restaurants in the shark tank. Okay. So I'll talk you through everything, what you're doing, what's oh, next. What yeah. a job. Not just one, but multiple. Well, I got, multiple two, I got two restaurants. Wahoo's on the promenade. Yeah. Cargo Old. And then we've got all the little fast food outlets yeah. that are happening within the park. So this okay. is the restaurant. It's in here. So it's, in, it's in the ship. Wow. Guys, I'm super excited to go inside here. He says that it's basically one big shark tank inside this ship. Can you imagine it, Mao? I'm gonna be eating fish, watching fish. Aha! Uh -huh. Grilled on. And it's a world on its own, yeah. Jeez. Hi, my brother. How's it going? I'm Nick. Jared. Jared. Nice to meet you, Jared. So, like I said, Jared, it literally is a completely different experience inside. Oh, my man. These are the sand sharks. These are some of the biggest sand sharks 
in the world, in wow. captivity in the world. This looks like a little great white to me, but okay. Black tip reef shark. Black tip reef shark, guys. Black tip reef shark. Don't get it twisted. This tank is exclusively for this restaurant. No one else can see it. These four tables, normally we would have five, but these four tables are booked out three, four weeks in advance. Are you serious? Nowhere in Africa. Then you're gonna get There's this. nowhere in Africa. Yeah. On, Ryan. On like Game of their own situation with a bone sticking out of this lamb shank. I don't know what the size of it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's our signature 600 gram lamb shank. Cooked with your grilled med veg, so your cauliflower, marrows, some, some peppers all grilled and cooked to perfection. Homemade creamy mashed potatoes topped off with the gravy train. Like the you like, I know you train. like it. <laughs> gravy train on the side, some gravy as well as garnished off with some some nice uh, crispy deep fried pasta so wow. something different i'm just gonna put my fork in here okay look at this the <laughs> smell <laughs> Yo. i don't want to talk man. i just want to embrace i'm gonna tell you how i'm feeling and i'll be honest with you I just said that about a minute or two ago, I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling, but I gotta, I gotta say that, in one word, party. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's the aircon, but I got a bit of a chill, like a bit of a goosebump going. <laughs> I mean, look at this, brah. It's a 600 gram lamb shank falling off the bone. Coming in some texture, some deep fried raw pasta. This is supposed to be garnished, but you know, we operate the whole plate like it's Christmas. Brah, I'm gonna be so full today. But you can't knock quality, you gotta polish it, no? You gotta polish it. Here we go. It's a disco, it's a party, and most of all, guys, it's hearty. A lot of people out there don't like lamb shank because it's got that real lamb flavor. Mm. But that's the best part it's of it. the richness and the beauty of it. Yeah. Brilliantly done. Thank, Thank you. you. Why people come back? Yeah, that's why they come this back. Is right here. This is our world famous seafood platter. Seafood platter to share, in my opinion. You seem to think no. you can destroy it I, yourself. If, if I didn't have to destroy that that lamb shank, I would have done this on my own. I promise you that. Look, yeah. I can't even resist while you're talking. Yeah, I apologize. Got, yeah, we've got the crayfish, absolutely delicious. Poached, done with a done with the garlic butter. We've got calamari, slightly Cajun style, tubes and tentacles, so it's the full the full go at it. We got some fresh dorado, grilled, dorado fish. Mm. absolutely melt melt in your mouth yeah. dorado, as well as the the prawns. We've got some delicious prawns, slightly peri peri, mm -hmm. a little bit of little bit of hot. Not Lekker. not going to blow your head off. You, you, <laughs> mild for you, but for the the yeah. general. That's general, a nice general, tank. Yeah, that nice tank. And it's last in the middle there. You just tucked into a nice, oh. lovely, fresh, creamy garlic white wine sauce mussels. So, one of my favorites. To me, done with your rice, your vegetables on the side, a little bit of lemon garlic hey, butter there. Hey, hey, hey. To me, you cannot go wrong here. This is. You asked me what's cargo hold. This, this is That's cargo hold. You saw what happened when the fish saw this yeah. come out. Huh? <laughs> That's cargo hold right there. People's persons of interest in the first degree. These people are giving me the time of my life. If you can look in front of me, this is, uh, Ryan just advised me, this is the reason why people come back to Cargo or to Shaka in Durban. That's, that's there in front of you, it's why this, people come You know, if, if, if that question is posed to you again, you can just bring this up and say, there you go. Yeah, just, There's my answer. That's it, you know. Guys, now, is life any better? Where are you right now? You're watching this. 
You are definitely going to smoke a shitty platter from Cargo or Dilishaka. So come down whenever you can. Come on holiday. Come have this experience. You're not going to regret it. I didn't even start eating it, but I can taste it with my nose. Crafty in. To me, this is the same as the shank. Yes. It's home. Baby, this is what we came for. <laughs> Garlic, creamy, white wine base in this uh, muscle. This is my favorite. We got the crayfish going. We got the calamari tubes, the squid heads. What's the name of this fish again? Dorado. 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 We got some peri peri prawns. The lemon is the thing, the wedges on top. Just to drop as you go. So the squid heads, as well as the tubes, Grilled beautifully. We're operating on a scale here, man. This is what we're doing. This is what we're eating. This is grilled, bruh. I'm taking this is the for me, this is the best part. This is what we usually have. Uh, especially down in Cape Town, you'll have you'll have uh, crayfish trails. Yeah. A lot of people selling 10 in the tail, 12 and 15 rand. Um but you said it's poached nicely and uh, in your garlic butter. Garlic butter, lemon. Yo, bruh. There's a bit of peri peri on there as well, I can taste a bit of tan tantalization, <laughs> but also cooked to perfection. We're gonna go to Rado now. Um, I'm not even pushing hard, but you can see how the fish is coming apart nicely, firm and flaky. Brilliant, guys. Big piece because I'm a big boy. On. Oh, the flavor, wow. Dorado, have you ever had that before as well? Ryan is opening up a world of flavors here for me today. I'm not gonna thank you enough, my man. You're gonna hear thank you the whole damn day. Prony warny. I know you guys love prawns. I get a lot of comments. Yo, you gotta do prawns, you gotta go, yo, you gotta do the seafood there. Yeah. I did one bit of views. I saw my came to Durban, yo, to cargo, and I saw my got it straight out of the ocean. Suck this in so much on it. I didn't sound right there. <laughs> Truly, madly, deeply, from a personal and honest point of view, from the godly Gimba, you are in KZN in and at Cargold, it is the seafood experience. Can I eat now nicely and please, please? Chutney, salt and vinegar. I'm gonna take this. Doritos, cheesies, and a salt and vinegar. Do you have any more homework? I'm gonna take my wife's favorite one. So, this is the snacks for the night, and then we're gonna go back home. And we still got lots and lots to see here in Tobago. Lots and lots to freak here in Tobago. Can you give us a discount for the food? 